couple of years ago, mm -hmm. in 2019, 2019. Okay. we got a chance to go with a group mm -hmm. to visit the continent. We visit, visited Ghana and Liberia. Okay. Um, as soon as we touched down, I, that was that. I loved it. Right. I could just feel something really wonderful mm -hmm. is happening here. So um, then and there, that was the, the decision. We yeah. always do say that Jamaicans are our distant cousins. Brothers. Brothers. No cousins. No brothers. cousins, so brothers. Closer than cousins. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The next step is to continue on the motherland, continue yeah. that chapter of our lives. Right. And yeah. we're really lucky that we both have that same mindset. Mm -hmm. Come on in, join the family. We're waiting for you to be neighbors. Hello everybody, you're warmly welcome back to the Royal Kingdom Estate platform. If you see the setup like this, you know we're about to have another lovely conversation. This is the Motherland series and on this show, we have you know in-depth conversations. We listen to people's journeys, their experience to their motherland, their business and partnership with Royal Kingdom Estate and everything that the conversation has to offer. And today I have a wonderful couple with me at the Royal Kingdom Estate headquarters. We're gonna be talking to them i personally cannot wait to hear everything that i have to say what i can pick from their life and apply to mine so we all listen share and understand collectively and with warm applause let's all welcome leroy and yolanda to the platform hello thank you thank you thank you how are you guys doing today You're doing very well thank you yeah Happy you look to be amazing here. we're glad to have you here so this is the first time you're being featured on the platform. Yes. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. They say ladies first, so I'm going to start with you, Lana. Definitely. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where were you born? How has the journey been like so far for you? Some of the lovely experiences that you've had along the way. Well, um, I'm originally from the United States. Okay. I'm from, originally from Ohio and New York. Um, yes, that's originally where I'm from. Okay. Um, as far as how I got to Ghana, I think that, um, the continent has been in my mind for a long time. Right. Um, one couple of years ago, in 2019, 2019. Okay. we got a chance to go with a group mm -hmm. to visit the continent. We visit, visited Ghana and Liberia. Okay. Um, as soon as we touched down, I, that was that. I loved it. Right. I could just feel something really wonderful mm. is happening here. So um, then and there, that was the, the decision. To That's come how here. you found yourself here. Yeah. And the reason why you're, you know, making all of these steps, getting properties, investing in the motherland. We're going to come to all of that <laughs> uh, very shortly. But how was it like growing up in Ohio? What are some experiences that are you know, very imprinted on your brain that you can remember <laughs> vividly? Well, um, believe it or not, I grew up in Ohio in the late 60s, early 70s. So okay. I was born in the 60s mm -hmm. and a child in the 70s. So there was a lot going on in the United States right. at that time, particularly in Ohio. Um, there was a lot of unrest. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with a lot of the things that happened in the 60s, a lot of revolution, a lot of things like that. Um, just a lot of things went on. I, for instance, I remember, I think I might have been like three or so, mm -hmm. and um, there was a lockdown in the city okay. because of um, a lot of unrest, um, the way society was running at that time. Right. Um, so that was some something that impressed me at, mm -hmm. you know at three years old or so so i remember that um so i just growing up in the united states and you know that type of thing yeah all right let's come to leroy take yes, us all the way back all the way back yes central kingston jamaica okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we always do say that jamaicans are our distant cousins 
brothers. Brothers. No cousins. Not brothers. cousins, so brothers. Closer than cousins. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, I was born in um, in Central Kingston, Jamaica, mm -hmm. and um, I pretty much grew up. Well, I was born in the fifties, late fifties. Right. <laughs> so um, I grew up with a lot of Rastafarian friends, mm -hmm. Rastafarian elders, people preaching Garveyism. So at a tender age, that was introduced to me, and it stuck. Okay. In twenty nineteen, when we first came here, it was with the UNIA group. Okay. Universal Negro Improvement Association. Okay. The Marcus Garvey group. Yeah. So um, that gave us an opportunity to finally touch down, you know, put our feet mm -hmm. on the soil of yeah. the motherland. Yeah. Because that was something that was in me ever since. And, um, you know, it was a great pleasure. Mm -hmm. You know, I fell in love with the people, the culture. It reminded me so much of Jamaica. Yeah. You know? And, um, Before that visit, you knew of Ghana already, right? Yes. I have a lot of friends that are living in Ghana. Right, yeah. And um, I've traveled back and forth mm -hmm. from Ghana right. to US or mm -hmm. Jamaica. Yeah. You know, so Ghana was pretty much the, 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 the place that was to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know? Yeah. Now let's let's come to the both of you. You really you look amazing. I've said it a million times <laughs> since you got in here. I think you're a wonderful couple. But Thank you. How Thank did you. you meet each other? How did that connection start? And how was it like in the beginning, all the way till now? We've been together now about ten years. Wow. Yeah, 10, 11 ten. Years. Ten. Yeah, about ten, eleven years. That's interesting. Yeah. And, um, we both were in New York. We left New York because our job relocated to Florida and, um, you know, we were getting tired of New York. So mm -hmm. we took the jump. And um, I'm retired now. Yolanda is still working. Okay. But, um, you know, we've been doing our thing. And mm -hmm. the next step is to continue on the motherland, continue yeah. that chapter of our lives. Right. And yeah. we're really lucky that we both have that same mindset. Mm -hmm. So that's really a wonderful thing to find somebody who is on the same path and has the same type of thinking that you do. Right. So. right. Makes what things is, easier. Yeah. What is one thing that you would say has kept you together throughout all of this 11 years of your relationship? Respect. <laughs> Respect. Okay. Yeah. That's Respect important. Is, yeah. Respect is very important mm. and the fact that we share similar ideas about where black folks are mm -hmm. and where we can be or should be mm -hmm. you know and yeah. the journey to get there we understand mm -hmm. it's not going to be an easy journey but um every journey begins with one step yeah you know we have taken that step and hopefully the journey will continue in the same direction and we can contribute in whatever way we can mm -hmm. in the redevelopment of Africa. Exactly. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now let me come back to Yolanda. Um, since 2019, you've been in and out of the country. You've experienced the motherland. Mm -hmm. What are some differences you would say between, you know, being in Ghana and then maybe living in Ohio or in New York? Okay. So, um, I would say the biggest, well, some of the, some differences that some people may not like, but mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, I love seeing um, a modern, the modernness of the country. Right. And then plus you still see the chickens. You still yes. see the goats mm -hmm. and the cows. That is, I think it, it's a wonderful combination to keep, to have that, you know, that modern mm -hmm. push, but yet still have control of your lives right. with your own chickens and your cows yeah. and goats and things. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Um, and the way people interact with one another is okay. amazing. Um, even when we're driving mm -hmm. and we ventured into driving <laughs> here, um, the horn is used as a way of to, to communicate. Yes. And not because I'm just angry and I want to blow my horn at you. Um, it, you think about other people on the road mm. and when people, and 
if you look at how people greet one another, mm -hmm. and it's something that you know I want to get used to and and start to incorporate with right. the way I think because when we lived, we're in Florida now, but when we lived in New York, everything is like if you speak to someone, you go right into right. what you your interest is. Mm -hmm. Instead of stopping and greeting, yeah, and you know, just feeling humanity in the moment. Exactly. Yeah. So that I find really refreshing, and that's something that I want to, you know, aspire to be. Yeah, I see. That is amazing. And then Leroy, I mean, Jamaica is very similar to Ghana, but what are some very, factors in there for you? Very. Well, as I said before, it reminds me so mm -hmm. much of Jamaica, the, yeah. the, the, the entire culture. Yes. The way you drive, mm -hmm. you know, you get to an intersection, there's no light, but there's, <laughs> there's order. Yes. You know what I mean? It's the same thing in Jamaica. Right. You know, there's a bunch of people at, at the intersection, mm -hmm. but people will stop, allow a few, you know, few yeah. cars to go through, you know, and you go and, you know, every, everybody is on the same. Mm -hmm. Page. Nobody is trying to say, hey, I got to get through and I don't care who don't get through. You know what I mean? And yeah. I love that. It's the same thing in Jamaica. Yeah. Exactly the same thing. The, the cho-chos, the minibuses, yeah. same thing. The difference in Jamaica, to get off the minibus, it doesn't stop most of the time, especially if you're, if you're a man. Oh. It slows down, you got to jump off. You know? No picking complete up, halt for no. you to... Picking you up is the same thing. It slows down. And you hop you off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it might so it might so dangerous, you know, you know, to people who are not but used to But it's different it. for the women. It's different for the women. They'll stop. Okay. Yeah, they'll stop, <laughs> pick up the woman, they'll stop and they'll let her <laughs> off. But the men, the guys, you gotta be on you'll be on your own. It doesn't Quick matter reflex. what you're carrying yes. with you. You could have you a snooze, basket, you whatever you're carrying, you're on your own. You're slow. Because yeah. the guy next be behind is coming and if there are passengers ahead. I can't afford to lose those passengers. I yes. can't stop mm -hmm. to let you off. And then this guy passes me and picks up all the passengers. Yeah. Hey, I got to mm -hmm. slow down, let you off, and I keep it going. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's an interesting <laughs> one. <laughs> but the culture is, is so much alike. Right. Because most of our ancestors came from Ghana. Yes, yes, you know yes, I mean? yes, yes, yes. So if you get a chance to visit Jamaica and spend some time, you'll see. You'll feel like you're in. You're still in Ghana. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. That's that's amazing. Yeah. And now let's come to your partnership with us, Royal Kingdom Estates. That's mm -hmm. one very important segment of the entire show. First and foremost, let me, Yolanda. How did you hear of Royal Kingdom Estate for the first time? Lisa and Landon. Okay, <laughs> shout out to Lisa yes. and Landon. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. you're watching their YouTube. Yes, yes okay. indeed. I saw them, um, I happened to come across their channel, mm -hmm. and then I saw when they purchased land with you guys. Yeah. And I saw how easy that was, mm -hmm. how very straightforward that was, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, yes, this is for us. Right. And well, we discussed it, and it was just... A that was deal. how we came to Royal Kingdom. Yeah. But before that, during all the times, the multiple times that you were in the country, were you thinking of, you know, investing, maybe getting land at any moment before you saw um, Lisa yes. in London? Yes. Okay. It was in the itinerary for you. Right. Yes, most definitely. Okay. I see. So you got into contact with them and mm -hmm. then they helped you with the acquisition process. Yes. The, um, you know, watching the videos and seeing them go through the process mm -hmm. and you know we pretty much uh yolanda contacted lisa and you know from there we just followed whatever they were doing yeah you know whatever information they shared with us we acted up on it until we finally got to you guys were mm -hmm. saying hey yeah we are ready and we purchased two plots yeah two and plots yes. at gray city phase three yes. hey congratulations <laughs> thank, you. thank you thank you thank you we're have happy you, about it yeah have you been to your plot yes yeah. do you <laughs> like it i love it oh my god love it. what do you love think it. of the weather the views the scenery the landscape everything it's it's nice you love it i it, love the fact that it's it has a slight mm -hmm. slope yeah you know but um the air is nice some of the best Sleeps that we've gotten on this trip is while we were in a break. We stayed at um, oh. what's the name of the place? We stayed at Pedroasi. Pedroasi Lodge. Yeah. yeah. We stayed at Pedroasi mm -hmm. and we stayed at um, where's it? Cactus Creek. 
yeah. Cactus Creek. Yeah, we wanted to get a feel yeah. of the entire area, mm -hmm. and we love that area. Um, oh. We, you know, we just we spent mm -hmm. quite a few days looking around the area, right. and we visited the plot a few times. Mm -hmm. um, and I tell you, I, the, although we saw um, videos mm -hmm. of the plot in the area before. Mm -hmm. It just could not do it justice. Yeah. In person, it was an entirely different thing. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, really beautiful. Yeah, just being there yourself, experiencing mm -hmm. everything, seeing it with your own eyes, right. breathing in the air. It was must have been such a surreal moment for mm -hmm. you. Yes, indeed. I'm happy for the both of you. Yes, indeed. And so far, how would you rate our services? Like, do you like it? Would you rate us like a hundred percent score? <laughs> no, not a hundred percent. Not a hundred. But close. But close. Okay. Okay. Close, give you a close is good. We can not give you a hundred percent because then you might not aspire to do anything better. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. That's true. There's a there's an old saying that there's no good, better, best. Because if mm -hmm. there's only good, better, best, when you get the best, that means you stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. When there's more mm -hmm. that can be done. Yes. So exactly. we're not giving you a hundred. <laughs> yeah, but it's very close. Yeah. Very close. Yeah. I'll very take happy. that. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you're you're pleased with it so far, the yes. services that has been mm -hmm. rendered onto you. Yes, yes. we're right. pleased. I'm glad. What do you intend to do with your plot? Are you building a home for yourself? Or is it an investment for, you know, later? What's the plan? Home for ourselves. Okay. And um Planting some food, some fruits, okay. some fruits, some I vegetables. I knew that was going to come in. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, have a little garden in there no, somewhere. A big garden. A big one. Okay. <laughs> a big garden. I want yeah. to be able to walk out and have lunch. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. I think mm -hmm. it would serve you best because, you know, that area is a farming zone. So you'd really, really love it. Yes, like you land, walk land out, see the locals, you know, see all the farms there. So yes. it'll be a easy to get the produce and then you know get insights on what you want to grow mm -hmm. just mingle with the locals i think you'll have an amazing time yes all we're, together. Look, we're looking forward to that yeah yeah that yeah. interaction with you know the locals mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah mm -hmm. all right so would you tell the people watching you right now if somebody wants to get land but they're having some level of doubts would you you know tell them to come in come and experience the service for themselves you know be a part of the family what would you say to them? Let me start with Yolanda. I would say definitely. Mm. This has been a very straight, straightforward experience. Yeah. Um, and you can ask questions if you have, you know, any concerns, any doubts, and your questions will be answered in a timely and a very clear manner. So right. um, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Leroy? Come on in. Join the family. We're waiting for you to be neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't sit back and think, uh, is it, you know, is this going to be a good thing for us? Yes. Mm -hmm. Come, join the family. We're waiting for you. Yeah, of course. That is amazing. Exactly as they said. And just before I go, let me just put this out there. Most of you do forget that we are a one-stop shop. And when I say that, we offer all services with regards to real estate. So if it's construction that you're looking for, we have a fully able team from table to the ground. Come in, meet our architects, meet our engineers. We have artisans on site working every day. And I believe we're doing something along the lines with you guys as well. Yes, yeah. we've been in communication with mm -hmm. the engineer. We're actually putting up our fence wall right. mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And, um, you know, we'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. you know, so we're going to be speaking with your architect. Yes. And, um, you know, try to get, you know, something concrete where yeah. we can start acting on. Exactly. Yes. So we provide all of these services. You can come in at any given day and we will provide you the services that you require. We also have land selling across all of our developments. We have the view current price point of 200,000 Ghana cities. We have Blackstar Village 160,000 Ghana cities or you can join in at phase four at 90,000 Ghana cities. You could have been neighbors with, you know, Leroy and Joanna, but unfortunately where they are, it's sold out. <laughs> it's completely sold out so you can come in at phase four still i mean it's very very close you can walk around say hi to them 
Mm-hmm. I think they would really like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Exactly. Thank come you on, so hurry much. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'll come in. We'll yeah. build a community that we're all envisioning very soon so we can all live collectively in harmony and in happiness. Definitely. We'll see that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so, you. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming in. You guys have been so wonderful. Thank You're you. You're amazing. I'm sure I'll be seeing you here um, with time. But are you leaving anytime soon? Tomorrow. Sadly. Tomorrow. Sunday. Sadly, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. No. We've been here for over three weeks now. Three weeks? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Oh, so, when are you um, going to be back? Pretty soon, I, I pretty suppose. Pretty soon. A few yeah. months, we plan to be back. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. wonderful. We can't wait to see you when you come back. And I'm sure by then, your project will be so far ahead and mm-hmm. we'll be here to oversee everything that you need for you. Okay, yes. thank you. Yes. Thank we appreciate you. It. appreciate it. And guys, you can leave your comments right there in the comment section. If you have any questions, if you want to run some inquiries, our contacts are always there for you to reach out to us. So subscribe, like the video, share it. And you know we'll always come back to give you more amazing, insightful stories like this. Peace out.